Welcome to our Creativity Club. I'm Meredith, the brand ambassador for Faber-Castell USA Creativity for Kids. And today we are going to be putting together our very hungry caterpillar craft and play pictures. Yay! I hope you can join me while we do this. Um, let's look at what's inside. Okay, here we go. I absolutely love this craft. It's so easy and so cute to do. Um, and you'll see why. All right, so we have our instructions. We have all of our pom-poms here. Lots of different colors and sizes. And inside this little tote here, this reusable tote, we have our boards that we're going to be decorating. So these boards are really awesome. They are really soft on the outside, it's felt, and a little bit flexible because there's foam. Our, we have our strawberry, we have our birthday cake, and we have our little hungry caterpillar on top of a mushroom. And we have little um, pieces to decorate with. So there we go. All right, I'll put this to the side and let's see what we do first. All right, for more than 50 years, children and their families have enjoyed reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar which is this book right here. All right, now you can make your own project inspired by this beloved children's classic. Getting started, craft and play pictures can be used again and again. So start with clean hands and play on a clean work surface. All right, here we go, decorate. Match the peel and press stickers to the picture boards as shown. So here's our little peel and press stickers. And although we're given three boards, we will only be doing one of the boards today. So let's see, which one should we do? Strawberry, our cake, or our mushroom? Yep, I agree. Let's go ahead and do our cake. We'll put those aside. Okay, so with our cake, it looks like we get to add all the different little colored dots. So the blue dot, you can just match them up or you could add more color outside your board or outside the cake on your board. There's plenty of room to decorate. And you can put as many or as little as you want on your board. And these are fun because they have a little bit of dimension. They're, they're foamy type stickers. So it just gives your picture even more interest by adding these dimensional stickers. And pink. There we go. Perfect. Okay. We'll put these aside for our other boards when it's time to play with those. Okay, what do we do next? Next, it says add pom-poms. So place one foam board on your table picture side up, which we've done. Match the pom-pom sizes and colors with the holes in the picture. Gently push the pom-poms into the holes. All right, so let's take a look. We have small holes up here. We have small holes here, small holes on the top of our cake, and large holes on the bottom of our cake. Let's find some of these pom-poms and place them into the holes. So starting up top, it looks like these are candles. 
So let's find some yellow pom-poms and add those to the candle flames. All right, I'm going to just pour out all of our pom-poms like this. Oh, how fun that is. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more organized, you could always just put all of your pom-poms into a bowl so they don't run all over your table. All right, so we're just going to take one of the pom-poms and push it into the hole. Isn't that magical? I'm wiggling it around and it's not even falling out. So fun. All right, we'll continue adding the pom-poms to the holes. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now this is just perfect for little fingers to put the little pom-poms right in the little holes. Ta-da! All set. Not going anywhere. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now, if your pom-poms do fall out, you'll just need to push them in a little bit harder so that it's nice and snug within the hole. Okay, let's go ahead and decorate our caterpillar, our very hungry caterpillar. So we have dark green and light green pom-poms that I'm gonna use. But you can use whatever colors you want. If you wanna use orange or blue, you can always mix up whatever colors you'd like because you can play with this over and over again and use whatever colors you want. So I'm making a pattern. I'm using dark green, then light green, then dark green. And do you know what color comes next for our pattern? Yep, light green. So the next one, dark, light, dark, light. Yep, if you guessed dark, you're correct. So that is our pattern that we're creating on our very hungry caterpillar. And as you see, or maybe you're not noticing, but for some of these, I'm kind of twisting the pom-pom into the hole so it definitely stays. And I can wiggle, 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 and it doesn't come out. All right, let's jump down and do some of the larger holes now. So our cake is white. I'm gonna use the white pom-poms and just push them in like this. Oops, I went a little too far. So if you push it in too far, it'll just go right through. And that's okay. You can just take it and push it in not as far. And you can see here, about half of it is in on each side. And we'll push this one in. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now you might be wondering, why are all these big red pom-poms and big green pom-poms here? Well, that's to decorate your other boards. So you might want to use the red pom-poms for the strawberry or for the mushroom. So you're given enough colors of pom-poms for all three pictures. All right, let's finish up our cake with some more little pom-poms. And this time we're gonna use all different colors. So I'll start with a couple white and then maybe a yellow one. Cause it's kind of like those delicious little confettis that you would actually find on a birthday cake. They come in all different colors. Yum. An orange one, a blue one. Oh, I need a little green one. Another yellow one. And 
and maybe one more white one. All right. So we've completed our wonderful craft and play picture of our very hungry caterpillar birthday cake. Yay! So what's also fun is taking all of the pom-poms out. So what you can do, you can either use your finger or the back of a pen, or if you have a pen that's retractable, just put the tip in and just pop them out just like this. <laughs> that one stuck a little bit, but it's really fun to just pop, 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 pop them out like that. That one ran away. Oop, that one ran away. <laughs> but here we go. So we're almost done and ready to make this picture again. Well, there you go. All right. Now, once you are completely finished, you can just put all of your pom-poms into your bag just like this. So it's really nice storage for the next time you want to play. And in you go. Almost there. And not only do your pom-poms fit in here, but so will your picture boards. Just like this. Put them all inside. And you're ready to put them away and then take them out and play again. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Wasn't that fun? I had a lot of fun doing that. I love this kit because it's so easy but so cute. If you want to show us what you made, how you decorated your, your pictures, go ahead and ask an adult to take a picture and post it up on our Facebook page, Creativity for Kids or hashtag creativity for kids on our Instagram page. Thank you. I hope you can join me next time for our next craft. Bye-bye.